Hi everybody, so we are here today to discuss the SAT question of the day for August 14th, 2011. And uh, as you may notice by looking at the, uh, the statistics for this question, uh, only 28% of uh, students actually answered this one correctly. So uh, that's important to consider. This is a hard question. Uh, and a lot of the SAT questions of the day are not uh, so hard. So uh, this is a good learning experience. All right, so like, let's take, uh, take a look at this math question here. Four distinct lines lie in a plane, and exactly two of them are parallel. Which of the following could be the number of points where at least two of the lines intersect? Okay, so the first thing uh, that I think of here is that if an SAT question describes uh, a figure or a shape or lines in a coordinate plane, uh, any sort of visual uh, shape that's mentioned uh, and they don't provide you with the figure then you have to draw it yourself right uh, so that's the first thing that I'd mention here uh, so first tip is that if there's no figure you want to draw it yourself okay so you'll see over here on the right I've already drawn couple figures here. Uh, so the first one up on top is the one I want you to look at. So uh, first of all I drew my two parallel lines. You'll see I drew those in black. Right? And then there's two other lines in this plane which are not parallel. So uh, I made a red line uh, going down from left to right and a blue line going up from left to right. And I didn't really try to you know, do anything in particular but it just so happened uh, you know that they intersected in between those two black parallel lines. So if I went ahead and, and counted up the points of intersection, which is what the question is asking for, uh, and I've circled here in green, you'll see that there's one, two, three, four, five points of intersection. So uh, the first time that I drew it, I noticed that there's five points of intersection. So if I look at the answers now here, I'll see that five is one of the answer choices, so that's good. Um, now, I also notice, however, that the question says which of the following could be the number of points where at least two of the lines intersect. And so if I see the word could, I think to myself that there's more than one possible answer. All right, so just remember if you see that word could, that's a clue uh, that you might want to redraw it. You might want to take a closer look. Maybe there's an additional answer. Um, and you can also, you know, let the uh, let the test be your guide. You'll see here there's only two other options, three or four. So you want to think to yourself, okay, well, how can I draw this shape and maybe try to make it so there's fewer points of intersection? Uh, and one way in which you can do that is to make the point of intersection between the red line and the blue line uh, on one of the parallel lines itself, which I've done here in the bottom drawing. Uh, so again, to summarize, you've got the two black parallel lines, right? And then you've got two other non-parallel lines, uh, the blue line and the red line, cutting through them. But what you'll notice I did here is I made the blue and the, and the red uh, line intersect at this bottom black line. Um, so in doing so, I've gone from what used to be three points of intersection uh, and turned it into just one. Uh, so I have two fewer points of intersection. So uh, up on the top, I had five points of intersection, right? But once I redrew it this way, I noticed that there were three points of intersection. Um, and, you know, no matter how hard you try, you're not going to find four points of intersection. All right, so we can kind of go down the list here. Uh, it's not going to be one only. Uh, it's not going to be three only. It's not going to be one and two only because two is not true. Uh, one and three only, yes. And it's not going to be one, two, and three because as we said before, two is not correct. So the answer is D.